Dance the stroll is not as bad as you think. When you think of him, you think of a paid driver with no talent other than crashing. But what if I tell you he was actually very successful before landing in F1? In 2014, he competed in Italian F4 and won with a gap of almost 100 points to second place and he didn't race in the last round. For 2015, he moved to European F3, finishing fifth and being the second best rookie in the main standings, right behind the clock and ahead of Russell and Albon. In 2016, he won European F3 with 14 wins, 20 points, 13 fastest laps and 14 poles in just 30 races. With a margin of almost 200 points to second place, this was the most dominant season in the championship history and drivers like Ocon Norris and Schumacher were also crowned as winning. After this, he debuted in F1 with Williams, becoming the second youngest to ever start a race. He got a podium and qualified fourth in what more so with the Williams in his debut season. And how can we forget his pole in Turkey 2020? He's not a future world champion but he deserves a seat and is one of the most underrated drivers in F1. And that is why 